Hey everybody, how are you guys doing? So I know everyone is stuck at home, so all of you guys who get your nails done cannot get your nails done, and I've heard lots of people talking about the dip gel. So I am going to be doing a bit of a tutorial for you today on dip gel. I have been doing dip gel for two and a half years, I think, and I do it intermittently. So I do acrylics, I do dip gel, and then rare occasions of the year, I will have nothing on my nails, but my nails are so thin and frail. After I had my last child, she's four now, my nails totally went to junk. If I don't have acrylics or dip gels on, then they just peel away. I have had a lot of people ask if they're easy to do, what kind of product I use, how I do it. So I thought a simple tutorial would make all of that stuff easy to explain for you guys. Um, you guys wanna know something that's so funny is this was the first video on my channel, which is why I'm not just referring people to that video. <laughs> Y'all, the quality of that was so poor. <laughs> I mean, it's the same basic steps. I haven't changed anything in my dip gel routine, but nobody is like sticking around my channel because of that video. I am also today going to try to do some different designs on my nails. This is the first time I'm trying the design, so you'll have to bear with me, but I'm gonna talk you guys through everything. My stay home giveaway is going on right now. A little something fun while we are all stuck at home. And if there's questions about this look, it is created with these two Lunar Skies Cosmetics palettes. I did just have a review up of all four of them and I will pop that in the iCards as well. Let's get going into this tutorial. Okay, sitting out here is everything that you need to do your dip gel manicure. So I am going to try a couple of different techniques today for you guys I have several different colors of dip gel the first thing you're gonna do is take off what you have on if you just have on regular nail polish then you just can use regular nail polish remover I have on some stickers right now and there were these glittery stickers these are a little bit harder to take off so I might be using some pure acetone for it. This I get from Sally Beauty. Typically I have got dip gel on. So for dip gel, if you're gonna remove that, I'll just show you guys how I do it. This is the fastest and easiest way to remove dip gel. I've tried lots of different other methods and I just go back to this one. So you're just gonna soak a cotton ball in the acetone. You put it on your finger and you're gonna wrap the cotton ball in foil. So I do that to one hand at a time because it's hard to put it on this hand when you've got this hand covered in foil and that also makes it easier to do things while I'm doing this. Each hand sits for about 20 minutes and when I pull it off, the dip gel is gone. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these from my nails and then we'll get started. Okay, so now I've got them all cleaned up. I filed them yesterday, so I don't need to file them. I just put those stickers on yesterday, but my nails are just too thin for stickers. You can see like right here and up is where the acrylics were. So they're getting a little more healthy where the dip gel has been. But as long as there is still this section where the acrylic was, I cannot use the stickers. This one even has like a crack in it. So I've got to keep something harder on my nails for now. I also just used a buffer and buffered these out. And then I went over them with some alcohol to make sure they didn't have any of the dust from filing. Let me show you what all I have here that you're gonna need for this process. So I have got a nail prep. Not all brands use a nail prep. This is the TP brand. I get it off of Amazon. It does have a nail prep and it preps your nails. Just like when you get acrylics, they put that on to prep your nails, kind of like to dehydrate them a bit so there's not oil so that the powder will stick well. Then we've got the base coat. Different brands call it different things. This is from Red Carpet Manicure and this is what the powder is going to stick to. And then I have got a gel activator. So you use this after, gosh, I need to get some more. You use this after you have your gel on. And then I use the Infinite Shine Top Coat. I have not had good success with the Dip Gel Manicure Top Coats that I've used so far. I have used both Red Carpet and TP Top Coat coats and I find that they're just a bit tacky. I want to try the Revel one, Revel or Revel brand. So let me know if you want a review on that brand, but I'm thinking about getting that set to give a try because I do use them very frequently. I've got my gel base. So this is the clear base that you put on first. And I have got a coral pop pink, a purple, a teal, and a white. I think this is all the shades I'm going to use. Um, Red Dip makes both glitter shades and matte shades. These are all matte. 
This is the brand that I just had on my nails before this. So if you've seen this color in videos, it's like a teal. This is the brand that I had on with the teal. I like that brand. So I haven't found one that I don't like yet. So the first step, we're gonna do the gel base. You are supposed to stir these up. I just kind of shake them up. And I'm gonna start with my nail prep. So this is just watery and it just goes right over your nails. Like you see, now we're gonna go in with the base coat. The base coat is what you use before you dip your nails every time. So you apply a thin layer and then you dip it at an angle and dust it off. If I see it hasn't gotten a spot, I'll dip it one more time. I do one at a time or the base coat could end up drying and your powder won't stick to it evenly. So that really is as hard as it gets. I am gonna do this side. And then after I let that set for a minute, there still is loose powder on here. So you don't wanna go through with your brush and dipping again until you brush off all of that loose powder. So that's what this brush is for. This is an e.l.f. complexion brush. I just already had this brush in my collection and I wasn't really using it. So I use it for this now. So it just any kind of fluffy brush will work. So now this has set for a second. If you do it right away, it could still be a little wet and you'll get some streak marks. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish this hand completely and then I'm gonna come back and do this hand with design. Okay, this hand is almost done. These still need to be filed and get their top coat on it, but we're gonna go ahead and get started into this hand. So I'm gonna do all these different things on this hand so you can see how I did them. Keep in mind, this is my very first time doing any of these techniques. I think they came out okay for the first time and they'll look better once they are filed and glossed and I'll talk about that in a little bit. I'm going to do my thumb first and this is going to be just a one color finger. So you put the base coat on and dip it in. I like to pick the jar up when I dip it in so my thumb doesn't hit the bottom. Now I'm going to do that two more times to this finger leaving a little bit of time in between each to let the powder set so I can brush it off and then be able to go in with the base coat again. Go ahead and do the pinky finger while we're waiting for that one to dry so I can get these two done before I get in to the more artistic ones. So here we go in with the second one. Also I didn't note this when I was taking off my nail polish, but if you have any kind of cuticles you're going to want to push those back as well. I just don't really have cuticle so I never worry about that step. While you're doing this, if you get any on your fingers, this is until you put the gel activator on, this gel is still malleable and you can still make adjustments to it so to speak. But afterwards you can also use a file to help you with any of that. That's around the edges. Two coats is enough to make it opaque. The reason that I do three coats is that you're going to file them down after you do this so you may get down to that two coat place and you still want it to be opaque after you file it down okay we're going in with our last coat on the purple i think i'm going to switch it around a little bit on this hand so i think i'm going to put the line on this finger here so what you're going to do for the line is paint your entire finger now on an angle you're going to stick it into the top color to where you want it, pull it out. I put it in twice, and then you're gonna stick it all the way in to the second color. So there it is a bit. Okay, now, this marbled one did not turn out quite how I wanted it. So as I do it more, I'll just work more with it. Um, but this is the gist of the marble one. I think I'm gonna add some more white to here. So I put white down. I had too much blue in there the first time, I think. And then I added a little blue, actually like splotches would be kind of cool too, and a little pink. And then you just really gently marble it around. All right, so I'm gonna do that on my middle finger and then you just roll it in there. I think that one's gonna look a little better after I brush it out than the first try. So we're gonna go through again with all these techniques. I'm gonna head back to my line one, put another base coat on it. This one is really cool. And you could even do like three lines or four lines. I just am doing two for my very first time doing it. And then like before, halfway in. And then all the way in with the purple. 
The blue is Navy Lady. The purple is Forever Fearless. And I'll show you the pink when we're done with this next one. This one for me is the hardest one. This is the ombre effect. It actually looks better than I thought it was going to look. When I first started doing that nail, I'm like, oh no. Okay, so for the first one, you hold your nail down. Oh, yeah, and you're gonna pour the white and then you're gonna pour the pink. Ooh, I hope I didn't mess up that pink. All right, do one more of the marbled. Maybe that's where I went wrong was doing two in the marbled. I am just going to do a clear coat. Okay, so for marble, we're gonna do one dip of the marble color and two of the clear coat. So here's what we've got for that nail so far. Not bad. I think I'm gonna do the pink first. and then take the white over the rest of it. For the design ones, my third one is going to be a clear one, so I'm just going back into the gel base. That's our third coat. And then when I file it, I'll be filing off that clear coat and not any of my color. So I am done with all of the powders. This powder is Girls Got Spunk. Yeah, I guess if you're doing marbling, maybe do more than one nail because that's kind of a waste of powder. All right, now I'm going to go through and brush them all off. Now they're going to get the gel activator, so that is going to harden and set the gel powder. And I usually go over every nail two times. So the red carpet manicure, manicure I get from Ulta. Typically, they are buy one, get one half price. So if you want to get that one, wait for a sale on that one. And that's where I buy extra powders from because they're $10 each. And if you buy one, get one half price. So I've got a fairly large collection of powders. And that's where I get my additional base coats for because I have to replace those more often than the rest because you use a lot of base coat. When now that the nails are done, you're going to go in and buff them out. So I like something, I don't know where this is from. I really like the one from Ulta that is 99 cents, I think. So you could do buy one, get one free of uh, the red carpet stuff, throw in one of these nail files because you really do go through them when you're buffing these out. And then you would be able to use your 350 off of 15 coupon. So let me go ahead. I'm going to file them like this until they are smooth to the touch. And then we'll do our clear coat. Okay, so here is the final product. Before I go in with the top coat, I am taking just some rubbing alcohol and getting any dust from filing off of there. And then I just go in with my top coat. I am going to do two top coats. So this ombre definitely turned out better than this one, but I do like that method. And I think as long as I keep practicing, it's gonna get better. Uh, this marble one obviously turned out a little bit better, but I think everything looks pretty good for the first time trying it. I would love to know if you guys do dip gel on your own and if you've tried any kind of fun techniques. The reason I put two top coats on is because the dip gel is porous. So the first coat kind of sinks into there and then this is going to give it the shine. I do end up reapplying a top coat every couple of days. I think I am going to try that Revel or Revel brand to see what that top coat is like because I haven't quite found one that comes with a system that I like. But there it is. Simple, cost effective, and fun. And I've also done where I just do a full set of just the gel base clear and then use my own nail polish on top of it. And that still is gonna last you over a week because you're putting regular nail polish on top of something that doesn't have any kind of oils to remove it. So that's gonna last for a little bit. What do you guys think? Thank you guys for joining me. I hope this was a helpful tutorial. I do hope that you will consider subscribing before you leave. Stay safe and healthy and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.